Holy moly, today is June 21st. Here I was just about ready to shoot one of my regularly scheduled videos when I realized the date, June 21st, National Indigenous Day. We should talk about it. Bonjour, Mishko Paganon, Quain Edition of Cosmo Hi, everybody. My name is Sandy Boucher. I'm Red Thunderbolt Woman of the Loon Clan, a proud member of Seine River First Nation and Treaty 3 Territory in Northern Ontario, Canada. And here in Canada, June 21st is National Indigenous Day. It is the day where we get to exclaim our pride as loud as we can. And no, I'm not referring to pride as in... LGBTQQIA+, even though that's June is also Pride Month, I'm talking about Indigenous culture, Indigenous pride. One of the things that happens across Canada today are powwows for those nations that have powwows. I'm a jingle dress dancer. It's definitely something. Powwow is an experience I absolutely love. But one of the things that is amazing about the powwows that are held today is they are open to everyone. These powwows are held to help non-Indigenous understand and experience our culture in all of its glory. But a couple of things. I wanted to give you some maybe powwow etiquette on if you are considering going to a powwow today. So for one, humility teaching. I want you to approach powwow the way you would behave walking into someone's home for the first time. I'm hoping you're not walking in there like a bulldozer and just throwing your coat wherever or poking your nose in wherever or asking intrusive questions. That's not what you should do at powwow either. This is a chance. Now, I know this is not going to be the norm for many of you, but what I really want you to try doing is learning through observing. Instead of asking, is it okay if I sit here? If you see other spectators sitting in an area that's probably a guest area. Or you could ask someone who looks like they're organizing the powwow. Just approaching one of the dancers in their traditional regalia, probably not appropriate. You can learn so much just by watching. Now, if you're going to go sit in an area where everyone's dressed in regalia, the fancy outfits that people dance in at powwow, that's probably not appropriate because that's obviously an area set aside for the dancers. Watch and learn from what people are doing. Now, yeah, don't just take pictures of anyone. You ask permission to take a picture of someone. Some people carry in their regalia very sacred items and they don't want pictures taken. If you do want to ask a question of a dancer, <clears throat> The first question you ask is, do you mind if I ask you a question? And don't ask something like, why in the world do you do this? <laughs> like there's, I call it walking softly. There is a difference between I don't understand or I would love to learn and why do you do that? Did you hear the judgment in the second question? This is a chance to sit and observe and learn. Listen to what the MC says. Look at how the Indigenous dancers react, what's happening at any given stage. The MC will explain so much over the microphone. If you can just stop the questions, just sit and learn, observe. Then, <laughs> if you have questions, feel free to come back to this video, type your questions, and I'll be happy to answer them for you. This is your chance to watch and learn. 
And that is how many a bill, bridge is built. Now, I'm in the middle of moving. Um, I don't know if I'm going to have a chance to get out to powwow today, but I'm definitely going to give it a try. So if you're in the Thunder Bay area, maybe you're going to see me. And if you do, please say hi. I would love, and of course, I'm going to answer your questions. It's Friday. It's National Indigenous Day. I've done enough work for one day. Until next week, I love you. Take care. Bye-bye.